Yo guys, penalization here. I'm bringing you a really quick gameplay. Uh, it's not really a gameplay. It's explaining what is wrong with Black Ops. So the left screen is my screen. The top, the bottom right screen is the ho host point of view, which is recording in theater mode. So put my point of view, I've thrown a grenade. This is live where I've recorded with my HD PVR. And look at my screen. I'm behind that metal building. But look at the host point of view. I'm standing out in the open, holding, throwing a grenade. Now remember that. And now I'm going to pause the video again. Look at that. I've died behind a corner. This is how you die around corners. I've died around that corner on my screen and look at the kill cam he is gonna he's gonna hit me here uh, bottom right is theater mode so there's no kill cam but the top left watch he's gonna get a few, uh, few, few bullets on me and then I'm gonna not be there like I'm moving away he's still getting hit markers why is he getting hit markers he's getting hit markers because on the host point of view I remember I just paused the video I was standing there throwing a grenade so in technically in the game I'm standing there with a grenade in my hand That that's how you die that's how you die around corners now watch this I'm going to sum up my uh, thoughts about Black Ops and this whole thing and how YouTube works but okay watch this I'm spraying at him here on my screen I'm, and now I pause it and look where I'm aiming I'm aiming bang on him on my screen but look at the host point of view I'm spraying a yellow pipe this is how you die even though on my screen I'm aiming on him that doesn't exist because in the, in, the, uh, in the host point of view I'm aiming at a yellow pipe that's how I that's how I just died there because my aim well technically according to the host point of view I wasn't aiming at him even though on my screen I was this is why I cannot stand black ops it's just all bullshit deaths all my deaths are almost all bullshit okay someone I played fair enough but most of them are here I get caught off guard here fair enough but I was running that's all but look I'm aimed down sight right nope look at the host point of view I'm still running the times are synced up exactly as well so I'm spraying but it doesn't exist because I did I wasn't even aimed down sights. I was still running and I wasn't still in the running animation so I've I've been caught off um a guard and I've been killed. Same thing here oh, and this is something else. Oh, I watch this. Um this is just I just don't understand this. Okay, so I'm aiming aim, I'm not getting any hit markers, right? And then when I aim off him, look up towards it, I'm getting a hit marker on my screen. Look, I'm aiming off him, I'm getting a hit marker. Why is this? Look at the bottom right corner, my aim is lined up. And that's according to the host point of view. So even though I'm not aiming I'm on him on my screen, I'm still getting hit markers because according to the host point of view, I am aiming on him. So it's just stupid. So uh, I can't even explain how how does this game work. I'd, so you you meant to not aim at the person. That's when you get hit markers. Um, when you get your re shots register, it's stupid. This game is. This is what I hate. Uh, game. I can't get 100 plus gameplays. I can easily get 100 plus gameplays if the connection works properly. The hit detection works, but it just doesn't work. I uh, watch this final one. Okay, look how look. This is really crazy now. Look, I've shot four bullets into him. Right? Nope. Look at the bottom right corner. I haven't shot anything. I've still 45 out of 45 bullets. Those four bullets are pre-fired. To get uh, look at this. I've aimed down sights, and on the bottom right screen, I haven't even aimed down sights. I'm completely missing my bullets, and I've died. So those four bullets that I shot to get like, like the, the hip fire and um, pre-fire shots onto him, and like, get a little advantage. They didn't even exist. That didn't even happen on the host point of view. This is why I hate this game. What happened on my screen is not what exi It's not what happening. It's not what happening in the game. What's happening in the game is what the host sees in theater mode. If you go to theater mode and watch what the host sees, that's what the g that's what's happening in the game. What happens in your scheme screen is not what's happening in the game. Um, that that this game is ridiculous honestly um this is the reason why and there's another thing called lag compensation i want to talk about lag compensation is something that everyone is talking about on the black ops forums lag compensation is basically um good good people with good connection like me um i don't my connection is not that good just decent but i get i don't know why i just get a host almost every game the reason i didn't get a game host this game is because i joined this game in progress so obviously i'm not gonna get a host if it's already in in process in progress i mean not process but anyways what i'm trying to say is the fact that i didn't have host in this and look how bad this game is uh look at the hit detection the lag everything and basically the lag compensation is uh, let me how do i explain this okay the guys with shit connection get boosted their connection gets a boost the guys with good connection gets a downgrade in the connection so my connection gets downgraded when i'm host and it boosts the guys with a shit connection so their game runs fluidly and they're enjoying the game and the people with the ho the people that are host have a la um, frame rate drops hit detection goes off it goes f all fucked up that's why being a host sucks on black ops on all the other call of duty games you have an advantage what happens on your screen is what happens in the game that's why being a host is awesome but the fact that on black ops is is host disadvantage you you lag you get hit detection your hit detection goes off you get your frame rate fucks up this is why you you lose this is why a host is shit on black ops um 
this is the reason that all these top YouTubers, most of them, I, I, I'm not going to hate on anyone, I'm just, this is what the truth here. Look, for example, Fear Crads, I like his videos, I'm subscribed to him, I love his videos, he's a beast player, he gets some crazy ass gameplays, 100 plus, he's uh, loads of 100 plus gameplays here. But look, the fact is that his connection is shit, I'm not hating, hating on him, you can ask him, he, he admit, admits it in the comments, people ask him, are you host, blah blah blah. He says, no, I've got a shit connection, my connection is like a 1.5 download, and like a 0 point something upload, his connection is bad, he admits it, and look how good his games are because he's getting compensated for having a bad connection his connection is getting boosted that's why his game's running so smoothly he's getting all these kills and all that whenever he's aiming the bullets are registering and that's why he gets those perfect games same thing with like Ronaldinho I reckon he's one of the best players on YouTube he's like a 10 KD he's a PS3 player he's a ridiculously good player I reckon he's one of the best on this game and his connection is so shit um, not hanging on him as well I think he's an amazing player I love his videos but the fact is his connection sucks he lost connection to two of the games two of the games in the commentator showdown thing whatever that was the competition they did between um, uh, with the game done zone all that and he lost connection to two games that's how bad conne his connection is and look how he's one of the best players on card he's like a 10 KD that's how good. he gets lag compensated for having a shit connection his connection gets boosted another one like you all probably know is wings of redemption i'm not gonna go list every single comment here he's got a shit connection he admits he has a shit connection that's why he plays so well um he he doesn't play he camps there but i don't blame him because the game sucks but he he his his connection he gets a boost because his connection sucks that's why his game runs fluidly and he gets those games he gets the gameplays now look at Sandy Ravage, he has a beast uh, connection, his connection is ridiculously good, he has a tiny low ping, he has no delay, no lag, but very very little minuscule amount of lag, and look how he cannot even stand black ops, he can't stand black ops because he gets bullshitted on cause having, for having a good connection, and that's why he plays P Modern Warfare 2, he loves Modern Warfare 2, he plays it all the time, that's the game you see all his videos on Modern Warfare 2, he rapes with the Spaz 12, the reason is because for that is because he gets host on Modern Warfare 2 for having a beast connection. What happens on his screen when he's host is what happens in the game in Modern Warfare 2. That's why his hit detection is perfect. What happen when he's, he, it's like instant kills. When he's spraying at someone, they die instantly. It's like boom, dead, boom, dead, boom, dead. It's because what's happening on his screen is what's happening in the game because he is, he is the host. What happens on his screen is his point of view is, what, is what's happening in the game. As I've shown in this video in the bottom right corner, the what's happening in the whole screen is what's happening in the game. So basically that's about sums it up I, I cannot stand black ops I, I struggle to get gameplays because I get so many bullshit deaths and this is the reason basically why you get those bullshit deaths where you see like you're like what the fuck how did I just die my aim was on him or I just turned the corner and I've just been uh, you died around the corner this explains everything basically I hope you guys enjoyed uh safe